that old dog-loving dog woman of newspaper fame. That old dog-loving dog woman of newspaper fame. Said the snake to the black woolly worm one late autumn day, I'd rather sleep with the dogs and go and take a good shit with the hogs than to ever slither around with any member of the press. For what it takes to sell a story, to get the greenbacks and all the glory, takes a jackal with a laptop and a satchel and a mind and a soul cram full of sap and crappiness. Yes, there once was a sad woman in the middle of a divorce who had a young autistic son in a backwoods town about the size of the nuts on a gelded horse. Due to the threats of her husband, she had to leave her house and home and head out towards some somewhere that was to her much more than what foolish ones call the great unknown. She was broken down as her van when she pulled into that parking lot, but God forbid she fell asleep in the midst of her many what could have beens and other what nots. Yes, she woke up to find herself in a hideous place called hell, where Satan is a small town cop. And fiends are those sick devils who must get a good story to tell. And yes, they told some wicked things about that woman in that van, how her baby was endangered, and how her dogs just might be taking the place of some young hard-dicked man. Her crime was sleeping with her dogs. Her sin was creeping on the printed page, the front page of the local yokel, from whence it grew into a kind of a great national outrage. The lawyers didn't give a good dead rat's ass. The alms budsmen were just some weak voices on the phone. The preachers demanded some kind of repentance. The dog woman got to face it all on her own. The judge he wore a big and dark black empty robe. The witnesses all vowed that they would falsify. The jury was on the side of the printed page. The dog woman was given the right not to cry. In this world of sappy minds, in this cold world of crappy souls, she lost her son and all her dogs, and in the mindless sap and soulless crap, she lost her self-control. Now she lives in a nursing home where she no longer knows her name, while those outside go by and say, in there lies that old dog-loving dog woman of newspaper fame. <laughs>